the Takana, the Nitro Plains Yellow and Blue Takana. So we're going to get this build on here. I already got the box off here. So I'll go ahead and unpackage this and show you guys what's inside the box and show you what's nicely, neatly packed up in here. So right here on top, we do have the instruction manual here, which is always good to have. We've got a set of decals. We have another set of decals here. Nice and packaged here. One layer, two layers of cushion going on. Looks like we have, would be the right wing here. has flaps, has split flaps here. Flap is uh, hidden up under the bottom here so you can't see it. I don't know if you guys can see that. The, the flap is hidden there. It doesn't move from the top. It only comes out from the bottom. Looks like we have the elevator section here. Looks nice and neat. It feels to be pretty solid. Not too thin. Well constructed here. We have here the left wing. And this is going to be retract ready. So if you want to add retracts, you can add retract. Let's get in here and see what else we got here. Okay. Looks like the canopy. Looks like it's, the canopy is going to have to be put together here. It's two piece. Looks like it fits here like this somewhat. Here's the canopy. I know sometimes every now and then you get a canopy damaged here, but this one looks to be okay. No cracks that I can see that's visible here. We have the elevator section here. So what we got is a yellow, blue, and a green color scheme here. Uh, what else we got in here? Looks like some hardware here. Have to figure out what this hardware goes to. The cowling. Let's just take a peek at this. Let's see how big it is. Here's the cowling. Looks nice and neat. What else do we got in here? Retract wheel cover. So after you cut the retracts out, you can actually cover it back up with the navy blue so the wheel sets right up in there and you keep the blue color scheme instead of seeing applied it's inside the wing there and we have some I believe these are going to be missiles or drop tanks that I saw inside of here everything's coming out nice and packaged so far we got all the hardware here that we'll be using wheels gas tank of course you guys know that I'm an electric man so I will be converting this over to electric so uh, look for what size motor I'll be using what else do we got in here okay let's pull out the fuse lodge is pretty big. I'm going to go ahead and open this up for you guys because as most of you guys have seen my builds videos, this is where I start at here is the fuse lodge will be sitting here on the building table and I kind of just work my magic around it. Nice and packaged and plastic and then a layer of foam there. Go ahead and just tear this open. 
slide it out of here for you guys. The fuse lodge is fiberglass. Weighs a little here, I feel. This is we have, like I said, we got the blue, we got the green, we got the yellow. There's more yellow on the wings. There's a straight view of it. Inside look. So let's go ahead here and uh, get this build going. I'm gonna set this back in here. Double check the more parts, see if there's anything else. I did find some more hardware, push rods, carbon fiber tubes for the wings, and the fake motor tips for the diesel motor that should be run with this particular plane. So let's go ahead and uh, get this build started. So uh, follow along with me here, and I'll keep you guys posted on the next post. So. My next step will be I will be using the CA glue to CA all my hinges, the ailerons, the rudder surface, and the elevator surface. So that'll be important too. And then I'll go ahead and epoxy the tail on here and uh, give me a dry fit test. As you guys know, I usually do a dry fit test. So let's move on with the build of the nitro plane to come.